Do you want to hook up your Headrush pedal board to the Digitech Trio, but you don't know where to start? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you. We're going to get started right now. Hey there, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up the Headrush pedal board to the Digitech Trio. And doing this is an awesome way to work with these two pedals together because it will enable you to use the Headrush pedal board to not only teach parts to the trio, but also to record loops. And then with the additional setup I'm going to show you, you'll be able to use the Headrush pedal board in the stereo field for soloing. It only takes a couple of minutes to make the connections, so let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, here we are looking at the Headrush pedal board and the Digitech Trio. Now, while the Trio may look small in comparison to the Headrush, it plays a very large role in how this all works. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two things. One, I'm going to show you how to connect these two pedals up so that you can use the Headrush to teach parts cleanly and record loops into the Trio Plus. And then I'm going to show you how to set up a different scene on the Headrush so you can play in the stereo field. Okay, so let's go ahead and make those connections. In order to make this work, we need to make use of the effects send and return on the Trio Plus, along with the guitar input and the effects send of the Headrush pedal board. It's a very simple circuit to complete. Let me show you what you do. The Trio effects send goes to the Headrush guitar input. The Headrush effects send goes to the Trio effects return. And your guitar simply plugs in to the Trio guitar input. And that's really all you need to do in order to make the hard connection between the Trio Plus and the Headrush. The next step, however, is we have to zoom into the screen of the Headrush pedal board so you can see how this rig is set up. And we have to make use of the effects loop module inside of a rig in order to make this whole scenario work. Let's get to it. Okay, looking here at the rig, it's a pretty straightforward rig. Uh, white Boost, Dyne Comp, Soldano Amp, and then it's going out to the left and right output of the Headrush pedal board. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an effects loop that basically is going to be an interrupter. Um, so I'm going to go at the end here after the cabinet. Uh, let me, I did that a little too fast here. So after the cabinet, the next module over, I'm going to go in and select the effects loop, default, and now the effects loop appears after the cabinet and that works as kind of a signal interrupter. So what is now happening is the effects loop is sending all of this to the effects send of the Headrush pedal board to the effects return of the Digitech Trio. So now, essentially, I've made a full connection between the two pedals so that you can start teaching parts and you can record simple loops onto the Digitech Trio. Essentially, that's all there is to it when you want to connect the Headrush pedal board to the Trio Plus. You just need to remember that you're working in mono when it comes to the Headrush and the Trio Plus in this configuration. But what if you wanted to take a step further? What if you wanted to have a stereo guitar effect going on on top of what's playing back, where you could solo in stereo while everything's playing back in mono on the respective tracks on your mixing board? Well, it's not that hard to do. It's actually very simple, and I'll show you how to do it now. Okay, now you can see that the rig has gotten a little more complicated because we actually have two signals happening here uh, in one rig. Uh, in, in the top row here, I'm using the white boost, the Dyne Comp, the Soldano, and the effects loop. Down below, I'm routing that to an anxiety overdrive, a fender amp and cabinet, and an air reverb. And the intention here is so, at, I, what I wanna do is set up a scene. So at the touch of a button, it will turn off this top row pretty much everything in the top row. I'm still going to keep the, the amplifier there, but it's going to turn off everything else so that it just goes from the guitar to the Dyne Comp to this section below, and then that will be going off to uh, my mixing board by making use of the left-right output of the Headrush pedal board straight to my mixing console. As you can see here, I've already got a couple of scenes that I've already created, one called Teach, one called Play. And if scenes are a new concept to you, I would encourage you to go back and watch my video on how that all works. It's a pretty easy concept to grasp, but it does require a little bit of practice. Going up to the upper right corner here of the uh, Headrush pedal board here, the screen, just tap those right three dots and go to hardware assign. And you can see that I've got the two scenes already set up here. Uh, let's take a look at what's in the teach scene here. In the teach scene, you can see that I've got the white boost, 
the Dynecomp, and what is called AMP2 and CAB2, and that's the Saldano. They're both turned on, and the effects loop is turned on. Conversely, the Anxiety Overdrive and the second AMP and cabinet, AMP and CAB, which is the Fender, uh, along with the Reverb, those are all turned off. Now, if we go back to the uh, hardware assigned here again and go to scene two, which is called Play, you can see that I've turned off the white boost. The Dyne Comp is still on. The uh, Amp 2 and Cab 2, the Saldano, those are turned off, and the effects loop is turned off as well. Um, however, the Anxiety, Amp, Cab, the Fender Amp and Cab, and the Air Reverb are turned on. So now, what'll happen is, go back to the main screen here, when I go to Teach, which I'm on right now, all of these effects are turned on, all of these are turned off. When I go to play, all of these effects are turned off with the exception of the Dyne Comp because I still want to use that. But now the Anxiety Overdrive, the uh, Fender, and the Reverb are all turned on. And now it's all working in a stereo configuration. So when I go from record, when I go from teach, teach is mono. When I go to play, it blows up into stereo. And so that gives me two different textures and two different layers to really work with. All right, now I've made all the connections and I've shown you how to set up everything inside of the headrest pedal board. At this point now, I'm ready to go ahead and show you what is possible when you use these two pedals together in this configuration. a cool connection I mean think about it you know you, the headrest pedal board is great obviously we I love it you know I love it and I also love the, the the trio plus but doing this in the configuration that I've shown you now gives you the best of both worlds where you have an amazing sounding guitar tone from the headrest pedal board in a stereo configuration along with your bass and your drums and some loops inside of the Digitech trio plus so you really do get a full band sound in just a matter of minutes so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, use the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com where I love pedals and so do you.